briefly outline key differences between the USA's government and the UK's government. In 1787, representatives from all 13 states debated what form of government their hard-won union should take. At the end of four months, they wrote a constitution, which was intended to be a higher law than ordinary legislation, detailing how the president would have executive power, Congress legislative power, and the Supreme Court ultimate judicial power. Remarkably little has changed there in 233 years. There are no similar moments in English history, though there are important moments like Magna Carta, the 1689 Bill of Rights, and the 1707-1801 Acts of Union with Scotland and Ireland. This is because Parliament is sovereign in the UK. It can create or end any law and even overrule the judiciary. Government ministers form the executive, but they also sit in Parliament. The Prime Minister is the leader of the largest party in the House of Commons. Hence, in the UK, executive and legislature are fused, unlike in the separated USA. The American system thus emerged from the mists of revolutionary gunsmoke and the English system from the mists of time. In the USA, there are two main parties, the Democrats on the centre-left and the Republicans on the right. In the UK, the Labour Party is on the left and the Conservatives are on the right. This lack of a strong left wing in the USA can be attributed to its tradition of libertarianism, which advocates minimal state intervention in the economy and private lives of citizens. But although the Founding Fathers put a clause into the Constitution prohibiting government recognition of religions, Christianity has continued to play a prominent role in the USA, long after its political clout in Europe declined. This can be seen in how, according to Pew Forum, 79% of those who believe in God in the USA think abortion should be illegal in most cases. They believe in the Christian principle called the sanctity of life. In the UK, abortion is not a debate, possibly due to greater agnosticism. Another big divider is gun rights. The right to bear arms is in the USA Constitution and will probably never be removed. But in 1791, they only had muskets, which could fire three rounds a minute. Three, set! Today's rifles can fire hundreds of rounds a minute. Mass shootings make a small percentage of total homicide in the USA, but get the most attention. The Republican Party tends to defend gun rights with the logic along the lines of, if everyone had a gun, the criminals would be too afraid to commit crimes. Ah! In the UK, human homicide rates are lower, helped by how gun owning is strictly vetted by the police. Finally, healthcare is the last big divider. Americans pay more for healthcare than any other developed nations, twice as much as Canada. Most Americans rely on private insurance for employers, though the federal government provides insurance for 65 plus year olds through Medicare. Low incomers have Medicaid, and the Affordable Care Act reduced the numbers without insurance to 8.2%, still very high. The UK has universal free healthcare at the point of use, paid through national insurance contributions, and despite its flaws, is well regarded since it was established in 1948.